Hello everyone. Let's see how to replace <coughs> battery of Sony SBH50 hands-free that is Sony Bluetooth hands-free. For that take a sharp tool, a tweezer or a blade. Just go on, bring it from the edge or the side. Actually this Bluetooth once I had opened it to replace the mic. So it will be a bit easy for me to open it. If you are opening it for first time, it will be a little bit harder as it has been glued with double sided sticker. So take care and as you can see this is a screen guard which I applied to it. Just go on opening it in this way here slightly. Here while inserting don't force it hardly because there is a switch here. can see it has been totally glued and while I will show it to you see here while you will insert any blade or tool see that it will not damage any of the components here be careful I will repeat it be careful see that you will not insert the tool too much inside just to the corner go on inserting it in the corner and lifting it up don't insert it totally inside you may damage the display here you may damage these components so be careful after removing the back cover front cover top cover whatever you may call it here there are two three screws you can see one two and three As the battery is already connected, see that you will not short circuit any of the contacts here. And these screws have insulated visors. See that you will not damage them or remove them. They may get short circuited here. After removing the screws, here volume switches are there, so be careful. See, look for a gap. From that gap. We just tilt it up in this way slowly okay yeah this is your PCB actually what has happened now the NFC antenna cable has come out so I need to solder it to solder this antenna cable later here you can see the battery is of 3.7 volts 3.7 volts 115 milliamps these are the battery terminals here connected slowly tilt the battery up as it has been glued See that you won't damage it. See that your tweezer does not enter the battery. Don't use the tweezer. If you are using tweezer, use the back side of the tweezer. So that you will not puncture the battery and damage it. Safety is important. Okay. This is the battery. Here you see it has been soldered through hole. 
So we will remove it. See that it will not short the terminals. Try to remove one by one. There is shielding here. Clear. We need to clear the holes. So to clear the holes, take a desoldering wick. As desoldering pump will be too large for this board, take desoldering wick. Clear the holes first so that it will be easy for you to solder later. Okay. Now both the holes are see through. I'll pass light and show it to you. You can see both the holes are see through now. Take your new battery and solder both the terminals first. Pass them through hole. Be careful with the polarities. Plus and minus here it is written minus you can see. See that you won't show the terminals. Be careful with that. Cut the excess terminals with the cutter. Diagonal cutter, take a diagonal cutter. This is no diagonal cutter. Okay. Just let's connect the charger once and check. Okay. It's going. It's charging. Just press on the charger power on. As you can see, it's powering on now. Okay, switch it off. If 
fix the battery as it was. It was twisted this way. Fix it here. If you do not get the battery of same same ratings, okay, what you can do is you can buy different battery, but voltage should be same, ampere rating is okay, 3.7 volts should be the new battery should be of 3.7 volts and a bit higher ampere rating, milliamp rating is okay, but provided the size of the battery should be same. It should not exceed. So now we will try to solder the NFC here. As you can see, the track itself has come out. You need to clean the track. Clean the track till you see the copper color. To see the copper color. Take lead and solder bit cleaned. Okay, as you can see. Track is soldered now. Camera is taking time to zoom and for auto focus. This point, this is one, and this is second point for connecting the NFC antenna. As you can see here also, the antenna here also the track is damaged, so we need to solder here also. For that, we'll clean this part here. Clean this part. If you get you know, antenna strips, NFC antenna strip from local market, you can buy that and fix it. Not a problem.
if we damage any of the tracks this is the situation you can have to face it gently right. see that the 3.5 in socket and all these switches are fixed properly they have not come out Insert the mic here in this hole, it should sit exactly there. See that you will feel the switches. Take all the three screws which we had removed earlier. These screws with the visor, insulating visor should be fixed on this side. One here. And one more with visor, the visor here insulated should be fixed on this end. Before shielding the top cover, we will power it on once and check. Okay, it's working. We'll fix the top cover. If the glue has, glue has dried out, you can use double sided sticker and fix it. Clean the display. For cleaning the display, this is the call receiving button. You should fix exactly on this one. Fix it in this way here as I'm showing. Hope this video has helped you in replacing battery of your Sony Bluetooth hands free. If this video is helpful, useful and helped you kindly hit the like icon, share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good time.